Welcome to the Mysticals table and today we're gonna play a version of Battle Line with Warhammer Fantasy. We are playing 2500 points, it's highest versus Vampire Counts and with me I have Martin and we have our cameraman Jonas behind the camera. And we are going to play a version where we have, uh, we bought some dragons and we, we did some charity work on Sunday or Saturday and we were discussing what are we going to play and we said, oh, let's bring dragons. Dragons, no war machines. No, yeah, and I said, perfect, let's go. <laughs> and then when I come home, I don't have any dragons. So I've been painting a little bit. And but we are playing uh, Triple Crown Comp. Yeah, and so I have plus eight. And I have zero. And with that, we take it to army presentation. So this is my 2,500 points of High Elves. Starting to the left, we have the Lyrian Reavers with spears and bows, fast cava. And then we have a unit of 20 Phoenix Guard, full command. And the Dragon Mage of Kalidor, which is a level 2 wizard with lore of fire. And a big block of spearmen. 48 of them with BSB and uh, level 4 wizard. Then we have the Frostheart Phoenix, which is a nasty bird. And after them, we have a unit of 24 sword masters of Hoeth with full command. And far off to the right, we have a unit of 10 archers. I'm playing Vampire Accounts and I have brought 2,500 points with Skeleton Warriors as core, a Vampire Lord on a Zombie Dragon, big block of zombies, Terror Geist, and Graveguard, finally a Black Couch. The plan is taking zombies in and they're gonna sink whatever big unit he has and they will never die and he will never move away. I have a vampire that's pretty kit out, not super much, but I think it still can kill stuff. The vampire lord is a level 4, uh, so I have all the spells distributed between my uh, necromancer, vampire and vampire lord. So it's gonna be a lot of magic this game. Yes, first... And Turn and I deployed first, so I will get plus one. Who gets the first turn? Go. I actually have Vanguard, and but it's too late. No charges. No oh, charges. Well, Vanguard is before the start of. Before the roll off. Oh, before the be roll off. Yeah. But we can fix it. Just make a new roll off. Vanguard yeah. will make a new roll off. If you want to do a vanguard, we can do another roll off. Nah, it doesn't really matter in this game. Oh, so now, remaining moves. I will move and nudge the forest to activate it. Two. I think. <coughs> Might be. Then. Over there, and I will move. You're right. Cause is fair. It's great. This is a 19, so it's a nine-inch charge with the. Push that one back a little bit. Ten-inch. Yeah. Have you ever played against? Uh... A vampire lord on a zombie dragon. I have never played against. Well, do you, do you, you and me have played against uh, dragons. Well, but I have never brought. I never brought. I never put a vampire lord on a dragon. No. This is just. And therefore, it's also a, technically it's a terror geist. I think it's the head that's different between having it as a dragon and having it as a terror geist. Uh, but it's 
it's only it's not even glued on it's just sitting on it so do you have a rough estimate on the power levels on, of it i do not but i'm guessing it's not kind <laughs> you get uh, but you get plus for taking it in triple crown so it's uh, yeah, but that could be an indication of no, how much points it costs it's it's so much points in it it can still be a nasty unit. I think the thing that that uh, I could see that it was nasty with him is that uh, whatever is in combat with him get minus one to hit. That's nasty. That's really good. Like beneficial. That's just forward. regularly nasty. And it's, I don't think it's against him in particular. Yeah, just minus one to hit. And he probably has insane weapon skills as well. He does. Uh, well, the Vampire Lord does. But if I be, were uh, to be in combat with a va with a spearman and I go in with him, they get minus one. It yeah. should be a nine even against the zombies. That's all for my movement. So after my movement phase, I push them along the archers to get cover, and uh, the rest full move up, just to keep them in coherency, except the swordmasters and the frostheart phoenix to not be able to give away a free charge to the Vampire Lord. He has to roll a 9 or 10 plus. So over to magic. Let's go with Fulminating Flame Cage, casting value of 11. Yes. Onto the zombies. Miscast. Straight up. You have it. And the miscast is a... But I, I think, don't, don't I take damage once? Yeah, you take first. I take 1d6 strength 4 hits. Yeah, and I roll a 6 on the miscast that table. That is a small template. Remove d6 dice from the power pool. And I have 5 left. Yeah. Uh, he takes a strength 10 hit. Which wounds. And I... Have a regen or something. Six plus. No, it takes a wound. And I lose d6 dice for one. I still have four left. So now you have more dice than me. And uh, d6 wounds. Yes. Right? For one. And uh, they have toughness three. Nothing. <laughs> There's my ones. <laughs> So, in my magic phase, the first spell I cast was a miscast on Fulminating Flame Cage into the zombies. And then uh, I took uh, the dragon took a wound and the magician took a wound. The second casting was a soul quench magic missile into the terrorgeist and it took two wounds. And then the shooting, I think I killed a skeleton. Yeah. One skeleton. That's pretty much it. So that's my turn one. Vampire counts turn one. Share it into Illyrian Reavers. Short reactions. Stand and yeah. shoot. There's really no use. Impact hits and overrun, reform. What's the distance? It's a free, free charge. You have a swift stride, right? Uh, yes, uh, Sheriff, was it uh, rolling three dice? Or does it have any weird rules? Oh, <coughs> it has a lot of weird rules. He has swift stride, so I should yeah. do like this. Yeah. Impact hits. I will flee. Yep, you flee. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, they are fast calves, so you can do a faint flight, right? Yeah. Eight. It's an eight, so I should end up over there, center. And then you pop out on the other side. Like so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that I want to be in combat with the them. Nasty. They are way too nasty to be in combat with yet. So I think I will just have to live with it, resolve it. They will charge Frost Phoenix and they need 11. <laughs> it's 15. Yeah, hold. This one be this is might this, be one of the rolls that be important. I need but, 11. But, but yeah. are you finished with all of your shards? 
No, uh, you need to. Yeah. Uh, you, you should. I, I should. I should do all of them. Yes. Yeah. He stand holds. But it's gonna be a fun roll. <clears throat> it's gonna be a fun roll. And here it's fourteen. So I need. Yeah. It's fourteen, fourteen. So it's ten, ten. To get into melee with them. I don't know. <clears throat> they charge into. I'm gonna flee. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I will hold, Famous I will hold. Yeah. Yeah. And the uh, Graveguard will charge them. <clears throat> hold. Okay. 11, 10, 10. Uh, That's everything. Not possible. I That's everything. Let's start with the one that's not <clears throat> possible. He will De go... Declare the, de declare the charging value first and then roll. So yeah. we know it's 10, 10, 11, yeah. and this one is... That's 1 million. 25. One, 1 million. And he will go for the is the higher value? Ten? Yeah, yeah. Two, the higher. two highest. The two no. highest, ten. So not just one, right? Uh, Swift. No, no, I sorry. think it's I think it's only one. one. Yeah, one. Yeah. one. Six inch. Chup. There we go. And oh, then yes. we have ten on the die for graveguard. Ten. No. <laughs> Three. Uh, but you should roll both uh, in case. Yes. Uh, before. Yeah. Uh, zombies. They are in. They are in. <laughs> this might be like one of the things that impact how you <clears throat> how I move them. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> this is gnarly. <laughs> and then we have uh, three. Can I do an eleven? Eleven. Please do it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I am. I am. Okay, so that's done. Then we need to do remaining moves. What does the bird has for leadership? Uh, what's, good, right? uh, what's not great? The bird has... Oh, nine. How far can I scream? It's called... Death Shriek. D. Death Shriek. So it's 8 inch. 8 inch. So if it's beneath 28, I can't, uh, I can't reach him. Was this the best case scenario or the worst case scenario? I don't know. You? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you can kind of see like the impact dragons have on a game. There's yeah. not a lot of units and we're playing 2,500 points. The only things that are not in combat are the dragons and... Yeah. Small chaff units. But, and, and your uh, uh, sword masters, they are not chaff, right? They are ah, they're <laughs> decent. Decent. But they're not decent to go up against a zombie dragon and a terror geist at the same time. That's for sure. <clears throat> okay. I have done all my remaining moves. We have to take the fulminating flame. Cage. I have to take the fulminating flame cage. Might that's as well. true. Yeah. That's that's gonna be a huge amount of dice. That's, that's gonna a be a ninety nine uh, one hundred yeah. dice. Yeah, and uh, and the uh, wizard. Yes. Ninety nine and hundred, and they are uh, strength four hit. I think they are flaming. Uh, no, they're not. No. Uh, law rules might be that they are playing. But it doesn't matter. They don't have regeneration. Yeah. No. They don't have anything. That's what I'm going to do. And what I did was that, that uh, charge made it. So I felt like I have to push forward and put pressure on one more unit. Uh, so. Break the flag. My, my idea is to try to break this. So I pushed points over. They failed the charge. They, I, I wish that they came into combat, but they did not. He failed the charge. So no plan over there. Let's go to magic. Six, 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 eight, magic. Okay, now we but need we, to do some. We need we to, do to do the fulminating flame. Fulminating flame. Cage. Cage. Do you have a hundred dice? No, I around? have twenty. Okay. Uh, and that's three, four. So each three, their toughness three. Uh, First, I'm gonna roll the wizard. Yeah. And he is toughness three. And on a three, it's a wound. Yeah. For uh, strength four. Yeah. And he has nothing, flame cage. nothing. So he's down to one. 
one. And then we have 99 dice left. And it's, they're all strength four. So yes. it's threes and more. Six more. This is not statistically likely. No. no. But I think it is. It's, Two thirds. It's, it's yeah, it should be yeah, six right. or seven. Yeah, that's right. It's too statistic. That's a huge burning block of flaming zombies. <laughs> well, it's not so many points, but it's gonna. I need to do some magic. To, it's gonna to leave a thing. horrible smell in the area. <laughs> yeah. Like the rotting. What did you say? 20. 31 remaining. 31 remaining. Vampire counts. End of turn one. We have uh, one charge that made it, and it was the zombies. But the spearmen slaughtered them. Uh, they were first, uh, most of them got killed by uh, Fulminating Flame Caged, and the spearmen got the rest. So that was the important part. Everything else just moved. Turn two, high elves. Yeah. <clears throat> Short just to declare. And this is the exciting part. What am I gonna do? The thing I know about undead is that you really, really want to kill the wizards. And you have one more there. Yes. And one more over there. If he dies, they crumble once. Yeah. If they both die, they crumble every turn. Yeah. This is a two. I will go with everything. So it's a seven. Every, uh, all of them charge. Yeah, I should probably. Uh, everything is gonna charge. I'm just thinking about what way they are going into. Because if the if the dragon gets in alone, he's dead. Yes. But I am going to go with the Phoenix Guard into the Grave Guard. And that was a 7 inch charge. Hold. The dragon into the Grave Guard. Hold. The... You're not even allowed to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the Sword Masters are going into the Terror Geist. <laughs> And that I should measure it up so we can summarize it later. It's a nine, so it's a four inch charge. The uh, spearmen are going into the terror geist as well. And my dearly beloved bird is going into the terror geist as well. I am starting with the sword monster. Uh, sword, uh, six, six inch? Spearmen. Uh, spearmen, yeah. six, inch, six inch. And they are in. Fine. And then you do, up, you up, do up, up. the same. Uh, you, you have, yeah, okay. Next. Units. Yeah. This you have is three a units. Four inch charge. They are in. in. And then the last one. And then the should first heart phoenix is yeah. in. And as far as I understand the book, now you just clash them and ignore yeah. how everything, yeah. how movement, and, I and want them to just go. Ma make them fit. Yeah. As long as as long as you can make like this virtual. I don't think you can make this pivot actually. Because, you because need I'm, the, I'm uh, hitting the corner over there. Yeah. No, no, wait, that, that should be perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's fine. Put it in the corner, otherwise the one, other one yeah. won't fit. Yeah. And then the bird monster. Yes. In. And it should be as one inch away from this guy. Yeah. So that should be fine, right? Yes. And pivot going in, maximizing. That looks like a school book. But <laughs> if you can, if you can, you should even yeah. go like this. Yeah, it's because just the one inch. You should maximize there. so you get yeah. as many yeah. as possible from your side too. Yeah, yeah but that's that's good. Millimeter now now we have the the free charge with the dragon. It should be in. But now it's the but, but you did you didn't you go with the Phoenix? Yeah, or sorry, two? sorry. Yeah. Uh, and this is a si seven inch charge. Seven inch. There. It's in. Yeah. So in my movement phase, everything except the archers charged. My frost heart phoenix, my sword masters, and my unit of spearmen goes into the terror geist, and my uh, dragon mage and phoenix guard goes into the grave guard. Yes. The Illyrian reavers out rallied at the edge of the board. Yeah. That's it for my movement. So let's check out some magic. Let's do. Eleven. 
I only have two wizards left. That means no. the bird, my Frostheart Phoenix is attuned to magic and a six is quite good. I think it's... Uh, it ward save, right? Yeah, ward save four plus. Yep. <clears throat> uh, two channels. So I have 12, 12. dice. Or is it, is it now at the time where then you want the miscasts? <laughs> I really don't. The so Mansion will cascade. Yeah. But I will go for a Flaming Sword of Ruin on uh, the Phoenix card. On an 8 plus. No. Yeah, you have yeah. level yeah. 2. Level 2 and it is uh, plus 2 since he is a Dragon Mage. Oh, okay. With uh, fire, yes. fire. So I. Two, uh, seven, eleven. 11. Rolling, rolling two wounds with all the shooting and plus one to wound. Yeah. And they are flaming and magical. Mm, I try to dispel with Zombie Lord. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. I think the worst thing the fucking Necromancer. Yeah. He had the dispel scroll. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will go with <laughs> uh, Walk Between Worlds. Casting an A plus for my Archmage. Oh man. It's fine. You can <laughs> You can walk between worlds. I can walk between worlds. Yeah. And you throw it on them. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Worth yeah, it. and I am just gonna Pivot it, on a bit. Are you? Yeah, you're doing it because you want the additional yeah. ward save. Yes. But now I am. I use two and two. I should have eight left. Yeah. This could be the end for my wizard. So the miscast is a eleven, 11. No. power drain. Power yeah. drain. Wizard level minus D three. So lose some spells. he is down to a level one wizard. <laughs> Was he level and four before? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Now it takes some spells uh, away. First spell lost is the spell that caused the miscast. Walk away. Walk between worlds. And then he has these three left. He should lose two more. Yeah, uh, so, so random. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. From left to right. This one is gone. And this one is gone. Yeah. Which one is left? Hand of Glory. Okay, so you're going to cast Hand of Glory then. Do you yeah. lose any? No, I don't think you lose any power. No, no. no. Sorry, I'll go four dice on Hand of Glory for my Spearman. No, my um, Phoenix Guard. And I might as well use my magical item and reroll that one. So it's a 10, 14, 17, 17 21. No, no 18, 18, yeah. sorry. Double six. No. I uh, can't cast anymore, so magic phase is done. In my turn two, in my magic phase, I uh, miscast it again, and my level four Archmage is now a level one wizard with only Hand of Glory. And my, uh, I got two spells off, nothing really impactful really, other than giving them a ward save. And then my shooting did nothing, and the terror guys died in combat pretty much instantly. And uh, then the next combat, the two mages were in a challenge and they killed each other on initiative six. And then the phoenix guard and the grave guard battled it out and the grave guard lost by two and crumbled. And he did a reform with the spearmen, so they are facing this way. And yeah. We haven't turned them. They're, they're, uh, they're long, ready long to charge. Bus. That's pretty much it, right? But now we get to see Vampire Count's turn two. Okay, I guess we have to do that. Fine. You don't have to. <laughs> Charge the Frost Phoenix. S Stand. <laughs> I think it would be much worse if you like. Uh, yeah, because then just plows through. Can't go. He can't do anything. He's in. Remaining moves. They, he or he is the general remaining. I do the <clears throat> remaining moves too. <clears throat> oh, 
Sorry. While we talk about it, how, how do you feel um, fear and terror is working out in 8th versus VAP? Because in VAP... They suck they, here. Yeah. In VAP they come towards to combat yeah. resolution. They suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I, I know. I, I know. No, in, in VAP they're good. Okay. Yeah. Combat resolution is good. Yes. Yeah, uh, but I think you still have to... Uh, take uh, if you're being charged by something with terror, you have to take a leadership test in VAP, right? Or is it only uh, combat yeah, resolution? Yeah, you have to take. Test yeah, okay, I think so. So I don't know if the Phoenix that's... is immune. The, does the Phoenix have terror residency? Yeah. Okay, then it's immune. Yeah. yeah reform. So reform. Is it swift? It's swift. You can only it's make ten. a normal yeah. move, right? Yes. Summary of uh, quick summary of movement and charge. First off, I was debating if the Vampire Lord should try to help out here, but went for the charge, went into the Fro Frost Phoenix. Black Coach moved up to make a charge next turn, started to travel around the table to do something with them, and now we do magic shooting in Cobalt. Oh. Let's go, magic. I think it's it's fair if you get a high roll. Now I need a high roll. Yeah, you, you really do. Get a high really do. Eight. One. Yeah. And I only have one wizard, so one channel. Oh yes. <laughs> I only have one wizard, so one channel. No, I'm fair. Uh, isn't, doesn't the black coach get something as well? No, but he he he, he, he 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 makes this. Does I get a level? No. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> you know what else happened? What? You killed my dispel scroll. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. It is. <laughs> okay, we I should are... reveal that, yeah. but uh, it's, yeah, it's still fun. fun. <laughs> I yes. will use one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I will use five dice. Curse Vegas? No. <laughs> I've died to that one as well. <laughs> I think I've lost like 50 plus units to every spell in the game. Like Cur Curse of Ages, Curse of Honor here, Fulminating Flame Cage. Uh, Curse of years. years. Curse of years. Curse yeah. of years on them. I need, I need 12. Is it a I got direct it. damage? No, it's a hex spell. Yeah, so you can do it in yeah. To, yeah, out of combat into me. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I am a level 1 wizard, so this is gonna suck. You even have a level 1? Yeah, my uh, lore master. He lost oh, 3 okay. wizard levels. But so. isn't he dead? No. No, oh, no, okay. no, no. He, uh, yeah, this yeah, is okay. my dragon mage, so yeah. I really hate this spell. And I can reroll 1. Is it, is it he who has the book? Yeah. Book but of Poeth. Okay. <clears throat> Do you get to reroll this spell dice yeah. as well? Okay. So that's Dragon. my reading, otherwise it's a one. Yeah. Uh, dispelled? Each casting or dispel attempts. Yeah. Results of six can't be rerolled, otherwise it would be so OP. <laughs> yeah. So it's gone. You have one dice. R I have two dice. Two dice. Yeah, roll four, sorry. Two sorry. dice. Raise dead. dead. No! Oh, I'm the one. So I needed raise dead to save them. Yeah. Vampire counts turn two, and I did one wound on uh, Frost Frostheart, but he didn't flee. And Martin did twelve plus four sixteen wounds, uh, and I did a couple of wounds, but I crumble away more, so it's lost uh, rank on Graveguard. So it's gonna be, it's very tough for yeah. the vampire counts. And it's turn three, high elves. Do you have any charges? No, we don't. No. You can. So the play is to reform them again. Back to the way they were. Yeah. And then <clears throat> stay that way, I guess. Yeah, I could, I could they move should, to they should move people back, around. Maybe. Yeah, but I, I think I, I can do something. I wanna do a swift reform. Yes. Over here, 
to bring them back into the horde formation. I want to see if it's swift, please. Yeah. And then I can do a regular move, like so. And this one disappears. <clears throat> yeah. They are gonna swift reform as well because they might eat a. No, uh, they might. Yeah, they might. No overrun, but uh, they, they might need they might. a short. They might. Yeah. Uh, it's like, better to have them in front because then they stay so you can charge yeah, me in the side. If you go exactly. too much back, I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna eat stay. You. I'm gonna stay there. Yes. This is my bait. I was contemplating about reforming them this way and moving around to get that way, but I'm not sure the bird will survive. It depends on my magic phase. Yeah. And I have Unless but basically the, no spells. I don't have walk between worlds anymore. <laughs> Illyrian Reavers. Illyrian Reavers. And them. Um, they are moving up. Because they can march and fire, right? Yes. Dangerous rain in forest. If uh, I march. If you, sh if you yeah. march, yes. So I probably don't want to do that. Chicken. I can march up to the forest. Zip. You're probably yeah, about to shoot. Fine, you? <laughs> so, in my movement phase... I had no charges because there was no gap left to be able to charge the grave guard. So I reformed them, a swift reform, and then I moved them sideways to get a greater arc. And then I did the same thing with the sword masters. I reformed them to face the vampire lord on a zombie dragon. I moved the Illyrian Reavers up and the archer stood still. Because I want I want to have a buffered zone so the spearmen might be able to flank charge the zombie dragon next or next turn again. That's it for my movement phase. Yeah, then we roll some wits. And a level one wizard. Nothing. Four on the phoenix. But you four on a phoenix is probably all right. Yeah, it's ah. not bad. Plus plus one attack. Uh, you only have one spell, right? I only have one spell. That's absolutely correct. I will go with Hand of Glory. Six, five dice. From all the spells you have to choose from, you choose Hand of Glory. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Should I really do five dice? I'm not sure. You have to. I don't have to. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can pick the number I want to. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Otherwise, but I might I lose my it. wizard. I, I don't want that. It. But I, uh, I really have no need to heighten my weapon skill. I will go. You had four dice. Yeah. That's, I, I will do four dice as well. But I have a level four wizard. Oh, you do? I will go five dice. <laughs> <laughs> and I will miscast that magician into oblivion. Yes. Let's see it. No, should I do that? That might be super stupid. He's my general. <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay. I will go three dice. Three dice. Then you just would, I would just take yeah, it away. I, I would just. Either do you want a spell or do you don't want a spell? You have to. If I don't. Want, if I don't want a spell. It's not it's, worth. That's it's okay. Not only weapons, you get plus one ward side as well. Yeah, but they're not in yeah. combat, so yeah. who cares? Okay. It's not. It's not worth to dis. Uh, what's it called? Miscast my wizard yeah. away. Yeah. Even not three because, dice. There's a still a chance to miscast. Yeah. yeah. And he is. 320 points. Yes, have so to remember I'll that in the summary, he chickened out. <laughs> <from> <laughs> it's not worth it. it. Because he's my general. I'm not saying that you're wrong. So I'm not saying so that you're nasty. wrong, but I'm not wrong either. <laughs> That's 450 <laughs> points plus. Uh, I yeah. think the argument either is way. if you want the spell, then you need to roll five dice. Yes, that's the argument. Yeah. If, you, yeah. if, you, if you actually want the spell, you need yeah. five if dice. Yeah, if I had something left that was yeah. worth it, like high, heighten my weapon skill is... There's no use in this combat. But 10 shots into the skeletons. Okay, so in the magic phase, I chickened out because <coughs> <laughs> it was so equal in spells and I only have one left yeah. and the magician is my, is my general. But then in the fight phase, my uh, phoenix guard knocked down the grave guard and then uh, the frostheart phoenix and the vampire lord, I lost combat by one. And I made the break test. Yeah. So moving on to Vampire Counts turn three. Hmm. 
Nah. I don't think so. Do it. They are. They are. I am in, only in, into them. Into them. Yep. Oh. Nice, oh, nice. And that's a free charge. Yeah, I'm not gonna flee. So <laughs> just, just, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm holding. And no other uh, charges. Do they have any like cool does it have terror? Yes. Leadership test time. Leadership oh, test. Could this be the end? No. Oh, fine. Uh, what's the six? Value? Six, yeah, and uh, they have movement seven. Yeah, right. I think so. So thirteen. Yes. Yeah. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Uh, even far away. Just clip in the corner. I think I have to be like there. Yeah. So I don't get in be so close with them. Yep. So I have like one. A deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that fast. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be steadfast dragon gonna come into me, yeah. but I I don't know. Yeah, deal some damage. I, I need I need to do something. You're it's outside of my arc with the frost heart. Maybe they can things. come, they turn and I do some uh, shenanigans. Uh, we are going to pivot for Turn three for vampire counts. Black couch, charge, and I need to just clip the corner because I don't want to be one inch away. And uh, skeleton moves a little bit further. Now we do magic, no uh, shooting. Sne sneaky charge from the carrot. Like finding that one was I didn't see it. <laughs> Nobody likes them. <laughs> Nobody wants to fight. Them. Nobody wants to fight them. So yes. Much no. I, I mean, I missed that charge as well. It's 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 <clears throat> very dark for the vampire counts, but you you never know. Yeah. Nope. Deal some damage. Deal, Deal some damage. Kill some dragons. Uh, magic. Six. Channel. No. You nope. get five. I get six. <clears throat> I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'm kinda. so happy it's your magic face and I can't <laughs> miscast. Because <laughs> I've done two pretty impactful miscasts. Three dice, race dead. Three dice, race dead. <clears throat> now they're on. Two dice, D. I'm gonna counter it. And I will reroll this one. For two. So I have five. Uh, Eleven. Twelve. You, it's gone. That, that book is really strong. Yeah, it is. And it's minus one comp and it's 55 points. Yeah. So it's quite expensive, but I'm, I had I, it to... I completely what? undervalued how impactful yeah. it is to just get one free reroll on the cast. Cursed year so on them. Yeah. I need 12. It's a little bit high, but it's fine. Yeah. Now it is. I don't think no, I can no, dispel it. No, I don't that think I can. If you yeah. No, nope. can't. No. Nope. No, uh, but it's six. roll six for every model in the target. So, fifteen, fifty dice on sixes, 50 dice. and Tally. then they it's suffer against a wound. Initiative, right? Uh, no, they, or it's just, uh, like the test against six. Yeah, yeah. And on a six, and then the next magic phase, it's on a five, oh. and you shouldn't have it remain in play. That's bad. no. Uh, Cost so a d6 for every model in the target unit. On a 6, it suffers a wound. Yeah. So the first 24 is 1, three, 2, four. 3, 4. And so 4. I can yeah. And then we have, because champion should roll separately, right? Yes. Yeah. And the wizard. So then I have. Pick them up. Out, yeah, yeah. Five, six. Six. And then we have Champion, uh, BSB, and the Wizard. Fine. So, six models. Oh. And I get back a wound, so I'm back to full health. Okay. <clears throat> it's the no, I have lore attribute. So, on the next one, I... 
we're gonna talk about a lot of things that you forget that that spell is there during your magic phase. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we're going to do. <laughs> Turn three, uh, vampire counts, and we have. Uh, I made like five wounds on an impact hit. I won combat, but he stayed because he was steadfast. Steadfast. I made a spell during the magic phase, uh, Curse of the Years. So I took some models away, and we have the Zombie Dragon, Stalemate. They did one wound each, but I stayed because of... Uh, flank. Flank. Yeah. So over to High Elves. Charges. Charges. Dragon into the side. It's in. <clears throat> Illyrian Reavers into the rear. That's my charges. Yes. Oh, should I... No, we can can't. stomp them. Ah. Mm -hmm. Should be able to. Yeah, of course. But I have course, to take the yes. endless rain on yes, two yes, units. Yes, yes. Two models. So, 14. <clears throat> and they have an initial, so you need... Five. Five. On three dice. Yes. So, the dragon is, is in. in. I have no more charges, by the way. He should be something like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm gonna break that time. <laughs> I Any second now. His time. So, five like on three dice. ID, but it didn't really fix the basing problem. <laughs> Very and two dangerous terrain because of the forest. One did. One did. So in my movement phase, I charged the black coach with my dragon and my Illyrian reavers. I reformed the sword masters <clears throat> to be able to give me a wider arch and to reform the bird, the frost heart phoenix. And the phoenix guard reformed to line up a charge if the black coach survives. The archers stood still. Make some magic. Magic face. I have one objective. <laughs> Double one. And a channel. Which I get. Seven dice. Seven dice. But I can, I can roll them all to yes. take away Curse yes. of Ages. Curse of Years. Curse of Years. And it's a casting value of 12. Yes. So I really can't, can't fail, fail, but I don't want Of course that. you can. <laughs> of course you can. Only once. With reroll. <laughs> no reroll. Yeah, one, you can reroll one. Re one. Yeah. It's, it's gone. gone. It's gone. The curse of years is gone. Um, and I remembered it. You know, in Dala Slaget, I actually forgot it two turns. Oh, they're you, so dead. Yeah, they're yeah. so dead. So, in my turn four, I uh, took away curse of years. In my magic phase, my shooting did nothing. And in this combat, we... You I, charged and yeah. killed. Black I won coach. by uh, over the black coach. He crumbled like eight or something. Six wounds. Six, yeah. And he has four. So I reformed him a little bit. And uh, the Frostheart Phoenix and the Vampire Lord was in a stalemate. So I chose to do a leadership test and reform the Frostheart Phoenix. That's my turn four. Over to Vampire Counts. Vampire Counts, turn four. Charge them into them. Hold. I need 10, they have 4, I need 6. It's fine. Let's go. Hong Kong. No, I can't shoot at them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just mashing them in there. <laughs> Bits and pieces going like debris. Magic. You have four. I have one channel, no channel. No channel. Two dice, one health, macabre. It's in. What, uh, can I? They get to re roll to hit rolls in close combat. Re roll they to hit them. roll. Re roll to hit rolls. That's pretty strong. Good. <laughs> but I don't want Curse of Ages again. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna two dice dispel that. You have a nine. I have a eight, but I can reroll this one. No! Yes! <laughs> no! Uh, and he gains a wound, right? He so gains a wound. Back to five. Four. four dice wins of that now. Yeah, four dice, three dice, four dice. Four dice, three dice, four dice, four dice wins of death. 
I need a 15. You get it. You get it. Yeah. Lucky Andre. <laughs> and <laughs> remain, it's the small vortex. Yeah. Can I see the card? Winds of death. Every unit take D6 strength, six strength, three hits for each rank. <laughs> this is a... Just roll the, the direction. <clears throat> I want to put it's it. A so it's artillery die. Yeah. yeah. So or, or it's over again. over him, but over them, so I don't hit myself. Yeah. So uh, should have a line, and you can yeah. go into the dragon and the Lyrian Reavers. Where's probably. my? There's an artillery die. No misfire, please. Misfire. It's then I put it on myself, and it's random direction. Yeah. Yes. What? Uh, Center the template the and the caster yes. and roll a scatter die yeah. on a d6. I have one over here. You have it. it uh, now it just scatters. Uh, scatter and d6. Not into the skeletons. It into, it in, into, in, into the skeletons? Six inches. <laughs> no. <laughs> so it's. <Yeah. laughs> there are so many ranks. Over there. And then it goes. I guess. No, does it stay here? I want you to challenge my measurements. Is it good? It's really good. Yeah, and the direction is that the, the template will touch the stone, so... I think that... Yeah, I, I, I missed the skeletons. He still takes... Because it... He takes... Over him. 1d6 uh, string 3 hits. 3... No. No. Nothing. It went off, so he gets one mm. life back and back yeah. to full health. Miss cost. Ooh. Oh, big. Oh, blow up the, phoenix. Oh, the big one. Big one. And it he takes a strength, strength ten, 10 hits. hits. So and wizard it wizard strength ten. Yeah. Takes uh, a wound. Takes a wound. And uh, on a dragon. Takes yeah, yes. yeah. <clears throat> and then we have a three or less one two three dice. Yeah. Okay. But not the dragon. Four, five, six just remove the no, not the dragon. Uh, yeah. So it's three or low, he survived. No, uh, one to three is bad. One, one to three, three and the bad. wizard is sucked into the warp. One to three warp. He's saved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Four, five, six is lose d6 dice from the power pool. I don't have any no. dice left. <clears throat> so not the worst. Summary turn 5, I um, killed a lot of skeletons, but not enough, and uh, my Frostheart Phoenix died and caused panic to my Sun Dragon, which fled 4 inches. Yeah. It's, it it's mm. looks so weird, like the dragon having 7 leadership. And yeah, being... but he, he's... Ha he's, he did have the rider on, yeah. then he had So more. he was 9, but yeah. So we're moving yeah. into turn five, into vampire turn five. counts. Yeah. Charge. I want to roll the sweet spot of 14 inches. Let's go. Because <laughs> I take the two highest, right? Yeah. yeah. So I can't. You can't. So. But eight. It's seven. Eight. Uh, eight. Yeah. So this so is that 15. Was I need seven. Plus eight, so it should be fifteen. Yeah, yeah so and five. I need five, five on three dice. Five on three dice. That's all the charges I have. You don't want to redirect it? No. <laughs> five. It's gone. Yeah. 
is gone. And you stand over there. And this means that my archers has to take a panic test as well. Yeah. But they are nine. No, no they're not. They are, they're eight. They, could, they are eight. Yeah, they're eight. That's fine. Yeah. There are hundreds. We, we can we can do magic phase. Magic, Whoosh. magic, uh, low, four dice, raise dead. It's off. Yeah. Eight. Nope. Six, Fourteen. Nine. Six, five. Fifteen. Ten, Fourteen. It's gone. I could have put zombies there. But yeah, you have one. Yeah, yeah, one fight. Uh, and then it's... Or you could have called the miscast on... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna remove them. Yeah. yeah. I think so as well. Yeah. They're dead. And... Your turn six. Can't do anything. And I win. I can't do anything. Um, no, I can't do anything. So this is the final. So we're gonna calculate and discuss how it went. And the uh, match is done. High Elves took it. We did a special way of calculating and where we used Triple Crown and we changed the score on Triple Crown uh, giving uh, he who had point difference up 40 points each. So I got like a 240, 240 points for having the weaker army in uh, triple crown mind and since that the points was less than we thought yeah it was way less 13 7 to martin uh, the big blunder of course was zombie slaughter <laughs> yeah. but then we had a lot of zombie cage. Yeah. fulminating zombie cage that was just stupid <laughs> Uh, it's not stupid I, it was not oversight like i i forgot about it i i just wanted i wanted graveguard in and thought if if i don't get the graveguard in i want to have something in the way yeah and therefore i forgot that fulminating flame cage existed but when the mistake is done i live by my mistake yeah that's uh, that's the proper way that's the proper way yeah and you and, might as well and it made for a charge uh, yeah not not even funny but uh, since Otherwise, everything would go into the green card. Now, now yeah. you could at least tie up yeah. a nasty unit. And, and you, know, you, almost you almost yeah. salvaged it. Yeah. It was kind of close that we got some... Uh, but anyway, it was just plain not stupid. Yeah, but they stood two turns. The zombies did not. Yeah, they did. One the problem turn. Then there were 17. Yeah, one turn, two fight phases. Yeah. So yeah. they tied up the uh, spearmen. At least. Yeah. But the problem was it was the, the wrong turns. You still got yeah. to make the shards. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. so it was <clears throat> pointless. But uh, overall, the I would say that I didn't actually feel that I I didn't have any unit that did super well. I don't think so. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe the grave guard. Yeah, they, they still did. Like yeah. when I had the the battle stumber, yeah. I thought they did some work. I felt like yeah. grave guard, you are good. Yeah. You have been nice. Yeah, it was a <laughs> kind of small unit and they were fighting yeah. against the Dragon and Phoenix Guard. Yeah. So not that work. Yeah. I'm gonna pitch uh, two thoughts I had. Uh, first, I thought that uh, Phoenix Guard seems super strong. Are you bringing them for your next uh, games? I always bring them. <laughs> always bring I, them. I only have 20 of them and I don't think I want to expand. I've seen them in Horde formations and so on, but I think 20 is a pretty good sweet spot too be able to maneuver around and pick up chaff units or tie up a unit to make another charge. Yeah, they look really elite. My my worst unit this game was the Swordmasters. I placed them so wrong. But every is that turn. the Swordmasters fault? No, <laughs> it is not. <laughs> but that was yeah. my anti MVP, like my 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 way of positioning them. I could have moved them earlier to be able to re pivot the bird mm. and just start because I once you got the black coach in I saw that the the window had closed where I could move them around the other way. Frost Heart Phoenix <clears throat> I felt was the VIP. Yeah. Yeah definitely either, either way he's, your lord, so. if he's not the VIP it's that the Lord isn't good enough. Yeah. I mean my 
the for frost heart is how many points? 240 points. And the <coughs> vampire lord on a zombie dragon is 579. Although yeah. he's a level 4 wizard, so that's oh, like 60 points. Some powerful but, but, but still, yeah. he can't, couldn't kill the frost heart phoenix, even though he's three times more points. Yeah. I I will not make a zombie dragon. <laughs> and as yeah, but, uh, Yuna said, toughness 6 and a ward save that depends on the magical, attuned to magic. It's it's a good unit. Yeah, toughness, I think it's that he has toughness 6. Yeah. I feel like he should have maybe 5. Yeah. yeah. It's Same like a, a regular like big dragon monster. Like, yeah. That is 6-6. Six, yeah. six. Frost, Frost of Phoenix is... But, Monsters are not supposed to go into monsters. Like you no. lose the thunderstomp, you lose yeah. tag, or you, uh, there's so yeah. much. But I thought that, that I had the vampire lord. But since you are toughness six, it's still he yeah. missed. Yeah. Uh, that that was the point uh, I wanted to make to you, Andre. Uh, what do you think about what would have happened differently if you would have like gone around the frostark phoenix and taken the um, like trying to get into combat with another unit? Yeah. Um, Probably would have gone better if I would have gone for the sword monsters, but it's still like such a slaughter when you have one monster going into a unit that have four or three ranks. They are steadfast for a long time. Yeah. So that was my thought that I don't want to be in combat with my dragon lord for four turns. Let's take the frost heart and stay in combat for four yeah. turns. Yeah. So it was. <laughs> no. It... <clears throat> if you play monsters, you, you can tie up another more expensive monster yep. or you go in with another unit. Yeah, That's pretty much the only way to play them. It, yeah, you can't have a monster and expect that he's gonna take a unit. He's just gonna... <laughs> In a funny way, it's probably like the giant. Because yeah. the giant, you have one result, you win by two. Yeah. yeah. So it, it can win even the biggest hordes. But otherwise, monsters... Yeah, and he's stubborn. So yeah. even if he loses combat, he ties them up and he can he could win. And uh, yeah, is there anything like any more closing thoughts? I thought it was like a fun game to view and feel yeah. like. Uh, I really like seeing monsters on the table, even if they're not competitive points wise. But it still, yeah, it feels nice. Like the dragon team, I uh, really liked it. I thought it was yeah. like big plus in my book for bringing two dragons to the table. Yeah, it was a fun game. It was. Uh, we, and that, we must say, I killed his dragon, and then we said that killing a dragon was 500 points extra. So yeah. that was kind of the scenario, and yeah. that saved <coughs> my points. 13-7 yeah. yeah. is really good with just one character left. Yeah. So uh, dragons was super one, positive for you. <laughs> one character left, and it's still 13-7 in points, but the dragon that was left was 579. But it was a good game. It was. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time.